You're listening to the Call Kent podcast, where Kent C. Dodds answers questions and gives insights to software engineers like you. Now, let's hear the call. Hi, Kent. This is Ram here. I have a question with respect to designing a React component library, which might have a different look and feel. For an example, just for an example, let's say we have a button component. If one of the place I wanted to make a look and feel like a material UI button, I can do that. And another place, let's say in or another project, I wanted to make and look make the look and feel of the same button use like the bootstrap. I can do it. So this look and feel changes could happen for all multiple UI components, but it could be an it should be an easier way to switch between multiple design pattern. What would be your suggestion to approach this component library, which has a multiple look and feel, but driven by single headless version so that if there is any requirement with respect to the ARIA specification or XYZ, I could basically do at one spot at one place and it has it has gone to the other uh, any versions, any design pa- versions of it. So I was confused. Should I pick it for Tailwind or should I pick it up style component or should I pick it up CSS module? Because what I can see or envision that if I have to do this multiple look and feel, it might have for applying a CSS, I might have to write too much conditional. So what would your suggestion be? And that was the call. Here's what Kent had to say. Hey, Ram, thank you for the question. So, uh, th- yeah, this is a, a, a challenging thing in general, but uh, the the basic principle is you build things in layers. So you'll have uh, a layer of hooks that uh, manage the logic. Then you'll have a layer of components that manage the composability of the different elements. And then you can have a layer for uh, styling uh, with the different themes. And um, with the modern CSS stuff that we have now, you can probably do a lot, uh, like get a really long way with um, using CSS custom properties. Um, the uh, Mux video player uh, has uh, a, like a pretty interesting approach to this, and I'll, I'll link to that in the description of this video or, or this uh, podcast episode. Um, they, uh, yeah, they use CSS uh, custom properties that uh, you can then customize however you like. Um, but uh, yeah, you you could also go with Tailwind and just say, hey, and anybody who wants to use this needs to use Tailwind, and then they can customize uh, things with a custom theme. I probably wouldn't go that route though, um, just because it it, it uh, Tailwind even when you customize it, you end up with custom. Um, uh, class names and stuff anyway. So it'd probably be better to just go with um, the these layers. And the nice thing about doing uh, the hooks and then the components and then the styling is that people can grab whatever layer makes the most sense for them. Uh, React Aria actually does um, this as well. Um, they have their um, uh, React Spectrum, which is built on top of React Aria. And that uh, gives the styling. But then React Aria is built on top of some hooks that I cannot recall the name of just yet. But I'll, I'll link to that in uh, the description as well. Uh, but this layering approach allows people to just jump in at whatever layer makes the most sense to them and then add whatever customizations that they want. Uh, and then the CSS custom properties that the Mux video player uh, does for customizing the look and feel uh, is also a, a pretty nice approach as well. So hopefully that is helpful to you. I'll stick a couple links in the description. Have a nice day. This has been the Call Kent podcast. Learn more about Kent at kentcdods.com and get your own questions answered at kentcdods.com slash calls.